Hi, my name is Joshua and this is video number 10 in our YouTube tutorial series about how to build a custom course platform with Payload. In this video, I would like to talk about some security aspects of our platform. And if we see or look where we dropped off the last time, we see that we created a page where all the courses on the platform are loaded and the user has an overview if he is authenticated and in the dashboard dashboard route. Now, if anything or any route that's currently within our authenticated folder is part of our layout and the layout checks if there is a user. We have been made aware that this is actually not the optimal solution to this. So now I would like to talk about different ways to solve this. The problem with the layout is that it persists its state. If anything changes within the layout or if any path change happens, it is not revalidated if the user is actually authenticated. And one way to solve this is to put a reroute basically in every single page. This is the way most payload examples from payload itself do it. They simply reroute here every time this page is loaded, it checks, oh, is there, is there, if there is a user, if not, it gets rerouted. Now, I would like to keep the comfort of simply being able to drag everything into this authenticated folder and all the front-end routes that we see here are basically rerouted if they're to, or rerouted to the login page if there is no user. Now, the next best way we could solve this is by introducing a middleware. A middleware in the route folder that basically takes all the requests that go to payload and checks what path is it coming on and if is a user expected or not. The only problem with the middleware is that payload is not supported in the middleware. So you cannot import the local API and you cannot check if the user is validated. You directly need to get the query, uh, the header and the cookie, and then check the cookie or the JWT token in the cookie yourself. And as this is a payload tutorial, there is a third solution with which we can um, can keep the advantage of having the authenticated folder and simply dragging anything in there and also being able to ensure that on every reload the user the, or in any path change the user is checked if there is a user and this is by using the template instead of the layout the layout persists between path changes and the template does not the template is remounted on every single path change and the only thing we need to do is to rename our layout into template and then theoretically this could stay the same but let's rename this template we export a template and this gets template props instead of layout props now this effectively does the same there is still some advantages to the middleware route as it is a bit more performant but for the purposes of this tutorial and for the sake of being able to implement something very quick that is reasonable secure this is sufficient for us right now in the future there will be a larger tutorial about various scenarios w uh, where we authenticate users with payload. And if we go now back to our page, let's reload this. We should still be able to access it. We log out and now we try to access the dashboard. And yes, we are not able to access this. Okay, as we talked about this, let's come to the main part of this video and the main part of this video is access control in our last video we implemented our dash dashboard page and this dashboard page simply loads in with the local API all the courses we have which is fine for now but we should keep in mind that this is basically unrestricted access to our API. And what we want to do is to also pass our user to payload to check if this specific user is supposed to be able to see what he's seeing. And for this, we can pass an additional argument, which is override access. 
and this is currently on true but we want to set it on false now with this set on false the local api also expect expects a user object so we're gonna pass a user 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 we get the user right here so let's simply copy this further up and before we get the user we need to get payload and we can do this format document perfect now payload checks against the user object if this user is supposed to see courses or maybe which courses to get now a more fine-grained control about who can do what let's go into our collection and let's get the config from our courses payload offers us the possibility to include an access object access with which we can pass on functions that allow us to find or like as, as detailed or as fine-grained as we want to control who can do what now the access object expects for parameters or for um, or properties and these are read create I let's simply you put this at first update and delete in here we can pass a function with which we can find define who is supposed to do that by default if you don't define anything if we delete read right now payload is going to check whether a user an authenticated user is there or not which basically looks like this you have in here a request object and this contains a user and payload automatically so this is basically redundant but I would like to show you how this looks Ret returns a boolean user so if a user is present in our request it's going to return true and if not it's going to return false you theoretically don't have to implement this yourself because payload does it automatically but for the sake of completeness and so we know what's going on let's keep this right here for create update and delete we actually don't want our users even if they're authenticated to be able to create update or delete courses so in create basically we want here three times the same function we want to check whether a user is a customer or is a user because the users are the ones who can be log in into the payload backend and the customers are the ones who will are able to log in into our front end and we can easily discern who is who by again getting the user object and in here we're gonna return user user question mark dot collection so payload tells us what collection this user is using and if this is a users collection then this will return true and if it is anything but a user it will return false the same function we can oper uh, copy and paste for the other operations and now we are checking whether a user is basically an admin or simply a customer and if we now save everything first and log back in actually nothing should have changed but if we would now try to get data from the server that we are not supposed to see then it is going to return a forbidden now the access for the participations we are going to implement when we're actually implementing the particip participation of a user in a course so this is it for today's video i hope it was interesting please leave comments and like and see you the next time